Dietrich gets jail time, Bluetooth busts a Lamborghini Vandal, and a Ferrari slims down. What's up? I'm Derek D, coming to you from the back of a Bentley GTC, lent to us by our friends at Gotham Dream Cars. Oh, and as always, you are watching Fast Lane Daily. Will you with the headset peel me another seedless grape? It's a never-ending story. Remember that Ferrari Enzo we told you about that was split in half on California's Pacific Coast Highway? Yeah, well, we're still having nightmares. If you do, you remember it was Stefan Eriksson, founder of gaming company Gizmondo, an alleged member of the Swedish Mafia. Of course, Eriksson blamed the crash on some shady character named Dietrich. Well, Dietrich doesn't exist. It turns out that the actual guy's name is Trevor Michael Carney, who is now serving 30 days in jail and three years probation. That is for giving false information to the police. And of course, he's going to have to face hordes of Enzo fans looking for revenge. Now, here's one from the YouTube evidence file. Next time you're drunk at a bar and decide, hey, I'm going to go run across some guy's Lamborghini. Hope some amateur Spielberg isn't right next to you taping. A UK man was charged with criminal damage after he dented the roof of a parked Lamborghini Murcielago with his sneakers. The man was caught on video running end to end over the car, which was parked for 15 minutes. Now, he would have gotten away with it. That is, if some genius didn't send the video via Bluetooth to everyone sitting at the bar. And one of those people sitting at the bar was friends of the Murcielago's owner, who alerted the police. And since another genius yelled out his name in the video, the cops had no trouble tracking him down. He now has to serve community service and write a thousand times on the blackboard, I'm a silly <laughs> Apparently, you could say that in England. Next up, a new Subaru hatchback is spotted, and a Ferrari goes smaller. That's in the internet rumor mill, right after this. Got a tip? Let us know. Got a story? Send it in. Want the latest news? Check out the feed. It's all on FastLaneDaily.com. Go there. Now. Subaru fans may have gagged a little when they saw the latest Impreza, but that's nothing some fat tires, a turbocharger, and all-wheel drive can't fix, right? Well, we'll find out at the Tokyo Auto Show next month. That's when the Subaru Impreza STI will debut. Of course, if you can't wait, you can always go to Germany. Subaru's hot new hatchback was caught doing laps by some photographers on Germany's famed Nürburgring. Now, we're not sure how fast it could go around the green hell, but we're sure those spies are from Mitsubishi. And finally, Ferrari's going green. No, it's not going electric, but it's going light. The company's on a major push to use more lightweight materials to make their cars more economical. You won't see an F430 plugged into a wall socket, but you will see the supercar sporting a 3-liter V8. And according to reports, it's still going to push out upwards of 550 horsepower. Well, that wraps up Fastlane Daily for today. Tune in tomorrow when I come to you from the back seat of my Cobalt. <laughs> you know how I do. Fastlane Daily, coming to you live from a Bentley. It's me, Derek D, hanging with Kenny and Ian UC. And Donnie, all our names end with E, but that's okay, because we're having fun today. Hey, how are you? I'm here all day, people. Make sure you tip me later.